We can now use the desk blocks and the pattern blocks to illustrate fractions. And now with the addition of the additional pieces, the desk blocks, we can actually show all the fractions, something that was previously almost impossible to do with the, um, with the pattern blocks, only if you were very, very creative. So with the addition of these extra pieces now, notice how wonderful it is to use these now to, to show the different fractions. So let's see some typical problems we can give our students. How many different ways can you show me a half of a fraction piece? Well, let's see if we can put two of these together. And so we can see clearly that this green is a half of that. So the question I think we should pose to the student is, using pattern blocks and desk blocks, how many different ways can you show me one half? So this clearly is one way this goes with this. We have these two congruent pieces. Two congruent pieces will cover this. So this is a half of the blue. Now, let's see if we can do it another way. Well, I guess I can take the hexagon. And let's see. Two of these will cover that. So clearly, this trapezoid is one half of the hexagon. So, so fine, far, that's wonderful. Now we come to this piece, which is one of the new pieces which we've added to the pattern block set, the desk blocks, to show me one half of this block. Now, fascinating how one will go about doing it now. So let's see. I guess I can put that here. Let's see. This is five units or five square units. Now, what we'll have to get the students to do now is for them to figure out if that's five, they, this one goes nicely like that. And this goes here. So we can see if this is five square units, this is three, three plus two is five. So these two pieces, I guess, if I put them together, Okay, will be the same as that one. So what we can now do is to use this to in fact show all the fractions. So let me show you one more example. Here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven square units. So I can now ask my students to show me one seventh, one seventh of that piece. So I guess I can put seven of these here and see if they'll cover that. So seven of them, that's two, three, four, five. This one has to do very carefully. Five, six, seven. So with this now, some nice problems can be given. So that's seven. So clearly, that would show that this is one seventh of that, which means that this would be two sevenths. So with the new desk blocks, I can now show all the fractions um, for the students, not just one half or a third, but any single fraction one can isolate, one can demonstrate those fractions by using the desk blocks and the pattern blocks.